And low is number 23. Except for Easter, 23 in a row, P.E. Lamora. Now, this weekend, we sat, today's Friday, if you're watching this in real time, and we are, I'm still doing this every day, Saturday and Sunday, and we have a contest going on this weekend. So, if you're around, please watch, and you might win something, and it's nice to win something. I never win anything, but I figured I might as well give something away. Okay, I've got a towel on that. And I'm not gonna use any weights, I'm using my own body weight. Now, a lot of people out there I know because they totally have neck issues. So, we'll talk about that today. But imagine the neck muscles from the back of your head, right up the middle, you go down to your shoulders, the middle of your back. Those guys are responsible for bringing those shoulder blades together. And then the muscles go straight down into your lower back. Thank you. So, you need to think about those muscles. So we're gonna work them, stretch them out for a minute, then we're gonna go on the floor and use that trapezius muscle as a stabilizer. But I need you to listen to your body. Here we go. Scapula back and front. Because that's how they move. So right between those shoulder blades, I want you to squeeze. Squeeze. Contract it. Yes, now push it down, down. It's like your scapula trying to get into your back pocket. Good, now bring them up. This is the easy part. I'm good at this one. I don't know. Good, bring them back again. Retract, retract. Two more. Push them down, depression. Down, down, down. Good, rotate them. Out to the side. Elbows up. Now, if that's hurting your shoulder, I'm not a physio, you may want to, since you can't really go to a physio right now, take some time with that shoulder, put some ice on it, take a bag of peas, frozen peas, put a wet cloth over it, damp cloth, just put it right behind that shoulder. Rotation. Rotation. Good. One arm. Elbow. Think about that whole arm socket where the humerus comes up into your shoulder. Move it other way. And all those people out there that are at home trying to do their job, like work from home, and manipulating children or partners, I commend you. Two more. Other side. Here we go. Think about the other. Rotate it around. Rotate it around. Yes. All the way. All the way. Again. Good. Reach down. Back pockets. Reach down. 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 Four more. Three. Two. One. Let's just swing those arms for a second. We're going to be on the floor. Using our upper body. Four more. Three. Never more than a count of eight in respect to those people with the shoulders, the tendon, and the neck issues. All right, let's get down. I need some of you a few seconds to get down to the floor. First, we're gonna do a hip stretch. Once again, sitting down. Things get tight. Take a foot forward. Good. Here, I want you to lean forward. Get a stretch to that front of your thigh. If someone you can pick up that back foot and flex it, great. But no knee issues. So my knee, my knee cap is not on the mat, my thigh. Hold it, listening to your body. Yes. Put that foot down. Nice. And relax that back leg. Drop the hip a little bit. And I always use a scale of one to five. So one means you feel it, don't really feel it. Five you mean you feel a little lot. And there's a difference between stretching and overstretching. So listen to that hip. Good, bring it up. Use your hands to support as you change legs. Try and get a hip flexor. These are hip flexors in here. Let me help bring that leg up. Let it sink to the ground. You want to bring that back foot up, flex it, great. 
Some of you may not be able to put your hands up. Totally cool. If I look like this for you, then that's fine. I'm going to stretch. I want no knee pain. You might need to double up with your mat or your pillow that you're on. Stretching out through here. And stretching, by the way, 20 to 30 seconds. I know some of us, myself included, tend to be too quick sometimes stretching. Be in the moment. Breathe with it. Okay, first we're doing push-up. So, don't say to yourself, oh, I can't do those. Do one. Okay, we're gonna do modify first. So, what I want you to do, before you get down the ground, just think about what the movement is. A push-up is squeezing your arms together because the pectoralis muscle goes from your sternum and attaches to your arm. So if you were to do a push-up and have your hand right here, you'd feel those muscles contract. Squeeze. But you also have to be on your hands. I have a bad wrist, so if you're looking good, folks, you'll see what I have to do to modify. Others sometimes use weights, and they hold on to the weight, and it gives them permission to be able to keep the wrist in. So you decide about how you're going to do your push-up. We're only going to do one, and it's going to be modified. Once again, it's a pushing forward. So your hands are here, knees are going to sneak back, hips, feet together, knees together, hips, pushing forward a little bit, abs in. When you're ready, you're going to do one push-up. Go on down, push yourself up, bring your knee forward, take a rest. Ready? Two. Modify. And if you're already up there with the knees off the ground and on the toes, great, go for it. Two in a row. One, two. Give yourself a rest. Stretch out your chest. Good. Doing them properly. Now, take your knees off the ground so your straight legs, if it's comfortable for you. We're going to do eight of them. What happens if you have to stop in between? Go for it. At least you know where you are. But the intention is for the chest muscles. Your abdominals are stabilizers. They should be pulled in, and your glutes are too. So this is huge ab work, as long as you're using your abs. Okay, how many? Eight, correct. You can be all the way up, or you can be modified. Okay, that about what I can do, it's about what you can do. Let's go. Eight, seven, six, five, four more, three, Two, one, push back, one leg is forward, relax the shoulders. Nice job. Relax your hands. Side plank. Now, for those just joining us, we talked about our trapezius muscle. In the middle of that head, back of the head, it goes down to your shoulders. The muscle then comes across the middle of your back, and it goes to the lower part of your back. So when we're doing any exercises, I want you to take the scapula, those two bones in your upper back, push them down. Side plank. You're on your side. Elbow underneath your shoulder. Okay? Make sure you're comfortable. Rather than slouching, lift your ribs up. Now, you can have your legs here for your support. You're going to lift your hip off the ground. Pull your abs in, reach up, grab that imaginary bar, and lift your hips off the ground. And then extend that arm. Put your neck in alignment. So if my head's here, I'm not in alignment with my spine. My 10 pound head, yeah, our, our heads are about 10 pounds, do you believe it? If you're really smart, you're probably 12 pounds. Neck in alignment, your head in alignment with the neck and the body. Now, imagine there's a rope on that hip. Lift it up. Lift it up. And the other side, squeeze it. Yeah. Keep yourself lifted. The lift, two more. The lift, and down. Good. Push yourself up. Chin down. Elbows front. Chin down. Elbows front. Hands behind your back. Open up for the chest. You notice I'm doing a nice, even pace to make sure everyone's happy. Okay, other side. So, in your own workouts, you could alternate between push-up, side plank, push-up, side plank. Okay, making sure.
sure I'm lifted. I'm not slouching. Lifted. Legs. Knees bent. <coughs> Excuse me. Feet in front a little bit. Rip the hips. Grab that rope. Pull yourself up. Lengthen that arm. Lift. 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 Think about this side, the lower part of your body. Squeeze it together. And lift. 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 Come on, lift that body up out of that arm. Hold it right here. Hold it. Two, three, shoulders down. Head in the line with your spine. Take a rest. All right, bring it on up. Shoulder roll. Go back to the other side. Chin down. Arm across. Nice. Chin down. Arm across. Okay. Here we go. You could be here with your arms and your body. However, you're probably going to be happier to be all the way down because then you can focus on what this is doing. Take your top arm. Find your hip. Reach behind. Are you in alignment? Are the hips on top of each other? Or is one coming forward? Keep them right there. Good. Take that top leg. Lift it. And extend it. So I know my feet are sort of chopped up. Extend that leg. And lift. Good. Squeeze it. And move back. Squeeze. 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 Lift. And lift. Squeeze it. Now the side of your leg is what is aiming towards the ceiling or towards the sky. Yes. Top arm will be your support. Now, dip that knee down. Dip that knee down. And three. And four. And five. And six. Yes. Seven. And eight. Hold it here. Push it. Press it. Press that heel up. And push. And press. Bottom leg relax. You're going to need it in a second. Lift. And press. And press. Push you with that heel. Now, tighten up that leg as much as you can. Glute tight. Come on, feel it. It should be tight. Side of your foot to the ceiling. Good. Lift it up a little higher. Hold. Squeeze it. You should feel these in here. We're going to go for those dips, but I want that leg a little higher. Quick body check. Top hip above the bottom hip. Come on, squeeze the glutes. Toe aiming down. Pull four, three, two. You ready for the dips? Eight of them. Seven. Yes. Six. Five. Four. Push to the heel. Three. Two. And one. Hold it here. Kick it. Kick it. Kick it. Kick it. Eight. Seven. Yes. Six. Five. Four. Three. And two. And one. Bring that leg forward. Drop it down, let it stretch. Bottom leg, lift up. Remember these exercises? Yes, lift, and lift, lift. Only four more, four, three, two, and one. Get yourself up. Blood going down towards your bottom. You might feel that in there. <laughs> Chin down, bring it up. Look over your shoulder. Bring it set. Look over the other shoulder. Bring it set. Light, light, light pressure at the top of the head. Chin down. Go ahead and give me a slouch. Okay, shoulder. Grab one shoulder, bring it across. Drop that shoulder down. I know people out there have some neck issues. I'm trying to give you a stretch for that. In between. Get our other leg ready. You ready? Okay. Turn around the other side. Okay, don't forget, this weekend, if you're watching in real time, some of you are, and I appreciate it greatly. We still have both, video, both videos both days, and we have a contest going on. So make sure you show up. Like win something. Okay. I'm realigning my spine. Yes, bad hair really tends to happen. Okay, you can be here. Sometimes I like bending my elbow. You could be up here, but I worry about your neck. And the focus is this right here. All right, ready? In alignment, check your spine, ribs, the hips, abs in. Top leg, lift, lift. Now my toe is aiming down a little bit. Your hip flexors are so
so strong, they would love to turn that leg up like this. So, side of the leg. We're in this 15 minutes. Little lift. Probably go to 18. Lift. Squeeze your glutes. Toes aiming down. Squeeze. Yes. Squeeze. Hold it there. Now, dip down. Press out. Dip down. And that hip comes forward a little bit. Try to use all those muscle fibers in the glutes. Dip down. Dip down. Dip down. Then I'm going to take that heel and push. And push. You got that? Let's go. Push. Squeeze. Grab on your glutes. Should be nice and tight. Abs in. That bottom leg is your stabilizer. You might want to bring it forward. Four more. Three. Two. Yes. One. Drop it down a little bit. Hold it right here. Now, someone's pulling your leg. Like the expression. Pulling your leg out of your hip. Yes. Eight. Seven. Should be talking to you right now. And five. Four more. And three. And two. You ready? Dip it on down. Eight. Seven. Use that top arm to stabilize. Six. Five. Four. And three. Two. One. Kick it. Eight. Squeeze. Seven. Squeeze. Six. Squeeze. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Drop that knee down. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Relax it. Bottom one. Lift. And lift. And lift. You're watching this in real time, which some of you are and I appreciate. It's Friday. It's a great day for an opportunity. Our days are full of them. So what is going to be your opportunity to take advantage of today? Maybe it's nurturing yourself, taking time for a good book, squeeze. Time to sit quietly with a cup of coffee, and let everyone else in the house wake up. Blah, nice. Two more. Lift. And down. Bring both knees in. Push yourself up. Now, once again, shoulders. We're in the 17 minutes. Neck, ear up. Oh, that trapezius right in here. Drop the chin down a little bit. Other side. Ear up. Shoulders down. Drop that chin down a little bit. Hands on top of your head, chin down. Hands go behind you, open up to the chest. Yeah, get a nice step. Open up. However you choose to sit, give yourself a side stretch. And again. Shoulder roll, elbows in front, stretch to your upper back. Let that head hang down. Relax. Chin down towards your chest. And maybe even put your hands lightly on top of your head. Adding a little bit of pressure so you can feel that stretch in your neck. Hope to see you on here this weekend. Don't forget we have some contests. Love you guys. Thanks.